Welcome to the Maths Lecture Series for Class 11. In the previous episode, we had learnt about linear inequalities in one variable. We learnt about the real life applications of linear inequalities in one variable, the types of intervals and solving linear inequalities in one variable and expressing the solution in terms of an interval and on the number line. Let us see what we are going to deal with today. The rules for solving linear inequality in one variable, writing the solution in various forms, more real life applications of linear inequalities and introduction to linear inequalities in two variables. Consider the numerical inequality 2 less than 3 is obviously true. Now add 2 on both sides, 2 plus 2 is less than 3 plus 2 that is 4 is less than 5 is obviously true. Subtract 2 from both sides, 2 minus 2 is less than 3 minus 2 that is 0 is less than 1 is again true. Now multiply by 2 on both sides, 2 into 2 is less than 3 into 2 that is 4 is less than 6 is true. Multiply by minus 2 on both sides, 2 into minus 2 is less than 3 into minus 2 that is minus 4 is less than minus 6 is false. Take reciprocals on both sides, 1 by 2 is less than 1 by 3 is again false. So let us summarize the rules here now. If we add or subtract any number on both sides of a linear inequality, the inequality does not change. The description of the statement would be, if A is less than B, if we add a number K on both sides, then A plus K is less than B plus K. And as we had seen the example, 2 less than 3 would imply 2 plus 5 is also less than 3 plus 5. The second rule says, if we multiply or divide by any positive number, the inequality does not change. That is, if A is less than B is multiplied by a positive number K, then A into K would be less than B into K. And the example we had seen earlier, 2 less than 3 would imply that 2 into 5 is less than 3 into 5. The third rule states, if we multiply or divide by a negative number, the inequality reverses. That is, if A is less than B and we multiply by a negative number K, then A into K would be greater than B into K. For example, if 2 is less than 3, then 2 into minus 5, that is minus 10, is greater than 3 into minus 5, that is minus 15. So, minus 10 is greater than minus 15. The fourth rule states, take reciprocals on both sides of the inequality, the inequality again reverses. So, if A is less than B, then 1 by A would be greater than 1 by B. For example, if 2 is less than 3, then 1 by 2 is greater than 1 by 3. The same rules would apply for the greater than inequality also and the greater than or equal to or less than or equal to inequality as well. Solve the inequality for x when x is an integer and second part when x is a real number and express the answer in the form of an interval, in the form of a set and on the number line. Take up the question 3x minus 2 is less than 5. We have to solve the inequality for x. We add 2 on both sides to get 3x plus 2 minus 2 is less than 5 plus 2. That is 3x is less than 7 and therefore x is less than 7 by 3. Now if we consider x as an integer, all the integers less than 7 by 3 would fall in our required answer. If we express this in the interval form, then x belongs to minus infinity to 2 open interval and x is an integer here. If x is expressed in set form, it will be expressed as shown here. And if x has to be expressed on the number line, it will be shown as on the number line shown on the screen. And note here that we have a hollow circle at the first integer before 7 by 3, that is 2. The arrowhead points on the left hand side of 2 because we are interested in all the integers less than or equal to 2 and 
if we have to express the answer on the number line, it is expressed as shown on the screen on the number line. Note here the immediate left hand side of 7 by 3, the immediate integer is 2 and we have a hollow circle at 2. Let us solve the inequality 3x minus 2 is less than 5. To solve the inequality, I need to get rid of the minus 2 on the left hand side. Therefore, add 2 on both sides to get 3x minus 2 plus 2 is less than 5 plus 2. So, 3x is less than 7 or x is less than 7 by 3. Now, the first part says that we have to solve x when x is an integer. That is, when x is less than 7 by 3, all the integers less than 7 by 3 would be included in my answer. Now, when x has to be expressed in terms of an interval, x would belong to open interval minus infinity to closed interval at 2. Now, the interval is closed at 2, although the inequality was x strictly less than 7 by 3. Now, when x is an integer, x belongs to minus infinity to 2, closed interval at 2 and open at minus infinity. The interval is closed at 2 because when the inequality x less than 7 by 3 is solved for integers, the integer on the left hand side of 7 by 3 is 2 and the integer 2 here would be included. If we solve the inequality in terms of a set, the solution will be as shown on the screen. If we show the solution on the number line, it is shown on the screen. Note that we have marked the point 2 with a complete circle, a colored circle and the arrowhead pointing on the left hand side of 2 because we are again solving the inequality for x as an integer less than 7 by 3. Note that on this number line we have considered integers only. Now, if we solve x when x is a real number with the same inequality, the answer now is expressed in terms of an interval would be written as x belongs to open interval minus infinity to 7 by 3 and open on both the ends. Note again at 7 by 3 the interval is open here. In the set form x belonging to R such that x is less than 7 by 3 and on the number line it would be written as a hollow circle at 7 by 3 and the arrowhead pointing towards the left of 7 by 3 because we are marking the solutions as x less than 7 by 3. Let us solve one more inequality minus 6x plus 6 is greater than or equal to 4 plus 2x. To solve this inequality, we transpose all the terms involving x on the left hand side and all the constants on the right hand side. Therefore, minus 6x minus 2x plus 6 is greater than or equal to 4 minus 6 on both the sides giving us minus 8x plus 6 minus 6 is greater than or equal to 4 minus 6. Therefore, minus 8x is greater than or equal to minus 2. That is, x now will be less than or equal to minus 2 upon minus 8 because we are dividing it by minus 8. Therefore, x is less than or equal to 1 by 4. Now, when x is an integer, x belongs to minus infinity comma 0, the open brackets at minus infinity and close bracket at 0. To recall, minus infinity will never have a close bracket as minus infinity can never be attained. And when x has to be expressed in set form, the answer will be as shown on the screen. If we have to express our answer on the number line, it will be as shown on the screen. Note here that we have a colored circle at the point 0 because the point 0 is included in our answer. The arrowhead here is pointed on the left hand side because we are talking about the integers on the left hand side of 1 by 4. Now, let us see what happens when x is a real number. If x has to be expressed in terms of intervals, the, it will be written as minus infinity to 1 by 4 open bracket at minus infinity and close bracket at 1 by 4. In the set form, the same solution will be expressed as x belonging to r 
such that x is less than or equal to 1 by 4. And on the number line, it will start from 1 by 4 with a colored circle at 1 by 4 because the inequality was not a strict inequality, it was less than or equal to. Take up one more question now, 2x minus 8 upon 5 minus x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 3x by 5 minus 5 by 4 plus 1 by 20. Simplify both the sides first, giving us 2x minus 8 minus 5 times x plus 2 whole upon 5 is greater than or equal to, the LCM is 20 here, therefore, 12x minus 25 plus 1 upon 20. The left hand side becomes 2x minus 5x minus 8 minus 10 by 5 and the right hand side becomes 12x minus 24 by 20. Therefore, simplifying to minus 3x minus 18 upon 5 is greater than or equal to 12x minus 24 by 20. Taking 20 on the left hand side because it is a positive number gives us minus 3x minus 18 upon 5 multiplied by 20 is greater than or equal to 12x minus 24. Note here that 20 could have been transposed on the left hand side as a multiplication because 20 is a positive number. Had this been a negative number, the transposition would have changed the inequality. Continuing with the question, minus 3x minus 18 multiplied by 4 is greater than or equal to 12x minus 24. Therefore, giving us minus 12x minus 72 is greater than or equal to 12x minus 24. Hence, solving as before, transposing x on the left hand side and constants on the right hand side, giving us minus 12x minus 12x is greater than or equal to minus 24 plus 72 or minus 24x is greater than or equal to 48 or x is now less than or equal to 48 upon minus 24 because we have divided the inequality by minus 24 which is a negative number. Therefore, x is less than or equal to minus 2. Now, let us express our answer when x is an integer in terms of interval, set and number line. x belongs to minus infinity to minus 2 interval with open bracket at minus infinity and close bracket at minus 2 such that x is an integer. In the set form, it will be expressed as shown on the screen and it has to be expressed on the number line, it will be again as shown on the screen. Note the colored circle at the point minus 2 and the arrowhead pointing on the left of minus 2. Note again that this number line will be considered for integers only. Now, let us write the answer when x is a real number. When x is a real number, in the interval form, it will be expressed as x belongs to minus infinity to minus 2 open bracket at minus infinity and close bracket at minus 2. In the set form, it will be written as all those x belonging to R such that x is less than or equal to minus 2. And similarly, on the number line, it will be expressed as shown on the screen. And note again, we have a colored circle at the point minus 2 and the arrowhead pointing on the left hand side of minus 2. So, today we have discussed about the rules of linear inequalities in one variable and solved some problems as well. We shall continue next time with solving simultaneous linear inequalities in one variable and linear inequalities in two variable. Till then, goodbye.